The movie starts with a bang. Zombies are on the chase, and our two heroes, Hyun and Min, are doing everything they can to stay alive. Hyun's taekwondo moves and Min's bat skills are put to the test as they fight off the undead. But despite their best efforts, they find themselves surrounded. Quick thinking Hyun decides to lead Min to safety, telling her to hide in a nearby car. Armed with her bat, he takes on the zombies, but it's clear he's fighting a losing battle. Desperate to save Min, he distracts the zombies, sacrificing himself to buy her time. Rewind to 24 hours earlier, we meet Juan and his buddy, up to no good near a cargo container. They crack it open, finding treasure inside. But their excitement is short-lived when a peculiar cat catches Juan's eye. As he tries to shoo it away, the cat strikes, sinking its teeth into his neck. Ignoring the warning signs, Juan brushes it off. But as they head to their car, Juan's behavior becomes erratic. His friend tries to intervene, but it's too late. Juan, now a zombie, attacks, setting off a chaotic struggle that ends with him unconscious in a nearby lake. Cut to the next morning. Hyun, our taekwondo enthusiast, is starting his day, oblivious to the horror that awaits. With concert tickets in hand, he boards the bus, his spirits high. Meanwhile, Juan, now fully transformed, is attracting unwanted attention as he feasts on raw meat by the roadside. The police are called, but Juan's not interested in a chat. He bolts, leaving chaos in his wake. Hyun's on his way to work when his mom rings, all excited about growing melons together in their hometown. But Hyun's set on staying in Seoul, which makes his mom suspicious, she's convinced he's hiding a girlfriend. Before he can reassure her, disaster strikes, Wan barrels into him, smashing his phone to bits. Hyun's not happy, demanding Wan pay up. But then he hears Min's voice, standing up to two jerks who drugged some girls. She's all about justice, but things get heated fast. Hyun steps in, trying to talk sense into the creeps, but they want to throw down. Big mistake. Hyun's got skills, and he sends them packing. Once he knows Min's okay, they head to work together, turns out they're co-workers. Hyun tries to chat with Min, but she drops a truth bomb, fighting those guys could land him in jail. Hyun's embarrassed, wondering if Min thinks he's cool. Her answer? Eh, uh, kinda. Before she bails. At the office, Hyun invites her to a concert, but she shoots him down. He tries to persuade her, but then the landlady shows up, demanding rent. Hyun dodges her, passing the problem to his boss. Finally, he reaches his office, only to find it locked. Then, out of nowhere, his buddy Day jumps him, dressed as a zombie, but ends up getting knocked down. Turns out, it's all a prank orchestrated by his boss, Kong, for YouTube audience. But things take a sour turn. Khan not only embarrasses him by summoning him as back athlete for the national taekwondo team, but also snatches Min away to edit the video, leaving Hyun feeling crushed. Later, Hyun catches Khan cozying up to Min, and it sets him off. He's fuming, no way he's letting Khan get too close to her. So, he jumps in with a genius move, pretending they've got a meeting planned. But when he struggles to explain, Min steps in, saving the day by suggesting it's a brainstorming session to boost their channel's growth. Checking the channel stats, she tells Kong to switch gears, focusing on what the audience wants, not just what he fancies. But before they can dive deeper, the landlady calls, and Kong brushes her off, lighting up a smoke. Hyun steps in, and that just ticks Kong off more, he kicks them out in a huff. Meanwhile, Wan's in a daze, standing in the middle of the road as the water supplier shows up. He tries to nudge Wan out of the way, but no dice. Confused, Wan heads inside. Meanwhile, Hyun pulls Min aside, teaching her a slick move to keep Kong at arm's length. Min's grateful for the tip, but she's got her own game plan. She loves editing videos, and if word gets out she's filed a harassment case, her career's toast. Hyun's worried, but she's confident she can handle it, and they head back inside. Kong drops a bomb, Wan's video. Hyun recognizes him and gets chewed out for not filming it. Kong wants more of these vids, but Day suggests faking them. That sets Kong off, he's not down with bending the rules. Meanwhile, the landlady's guard, Chiol, is in the zone, practicing his dance moves until he gets a call from his buddy. In a flash, the water supplier pulls up to Hyun's workplace, sending Kong scrambling to hide and dumping the whole deal on Hyun. As the delivery guy marches in, he spots Kong and heads straight for him, demanding payment. Quick on his feet, Hyun steps in, insisting Kong is nowhere to be found and promising to settle the bill soon. 
The delivery guy tries to pull a fast one, but Hyun sees through it, barely managing to shoo him away with a vow to pay up soon. But as the delivery guy heads back to his van, he senses trouble brewing but brushes it off. Big mistake. Out of nowhere, Wan pops up and takes a bite. Meanwhile, the landlady storms into the bathroom, furious at Chiol and his buddy for slacking off while the cleaners are MI. She lays down the law, demanding cleanliness and an apology from Chiol. He's not thrilled, but his buddy nudges him to comply. As she continues her rounds, she's pumped to see the place bustling. But her excitement turns to horror, as she spots zombies roaming the office, with Wan infecting the workers. Quick as lightning, she orders the guards to lock down the exits and sends in the old guard, who falls victim to Wan. Terrified, she bolts, with Chiol hot on her heels. But Wan's not far behind, sinking his teeth into Chiol's hand. Chiol fights back, escorting the landlady to safety while nursing his wounded hand. Seeking refuge from the zombie horde, they dash into Kang's office. The landlady spills the beans about the monster lurking within and warns against calling the cops. When pressed for details, she points to Wan's picture on the TV. Hyun's mind races until the landlady strikes a deal with Kang, offering rent forgiveness in exchange for scaring Wan away. Kang jumps at the chance, rallying his crew to investigate. Meanwhile, Chiol stays behind concealing his infected hand. They creep through the building, chaos unfolding around them. Kang's camera rolls, capturing every chilling moment, until they stumble upon a zombie. Hyun springs into action, clearing a path for his pals to escape. But as they near safety, Min urges Kang to call the cops. He refuses, preferring to film for his channel. Tensions flare just as Wan reappears, ready to attack. Our Taekwondo hero steps forward, facing off against Wan. Unlike your typical zombie, Wan's no pushover. He's as skilled as Hyun, giving him a tough time. Wan shifts his focus to Kang, who, in a cowardly move, sacrifices Day to save himself. Hyun tries to intervene, but Wan tosses him aside. Min steps in, guiding Hyun to safety as he grapples with losing Day. Panic sets in, but Min's there to soothe his frayed nerves. Hyun's rage boils over, blaming Kang for Day's death. But King's not about to take the blame, firing back that Hyun failed to save his friend. Meanwhile, Min tries to dial the police, only for the landlady to smash her phone, worried about the building's resale value. As the landlady mourns Chiol, now transformed into a zombie, lunges at her. Hyun gears up to face him, sending Min to safety. The showdown begins, with Hyun duking it out against Chiol, whose dancing skills seem to have improved post zombification After a fierce battle, Hyun takes Chiol down, only to spot Khan using Min as a shield against Day, now a zombie too. Hyun intervenes, turning the tables and leaving Khan to fend for himself against Day, while he and Min seek refuge in the storeroom. But Min's suddenly knocked out by sleep, and when she wakes, she finds herself looking for Hyun but finds him nowhere. She falls a prey to the zombies but then she reopens her eyes, realizing it was all just a dream. Hyun reassures her and hatches a plan to return to their office and contact the police. With no clear path back, Hyun spots a music player and gets an idea. He hangs it in the building, blasting tunes to distract the zombies. With the coast clear, they make a break for the office, but Day attacks. Hyun struggles against him, while Kang sneaks up on Min. Remembering Hyun's Taekwondo lesson, she takes down Kang. Hyun pleads with Day, but Min steps in, recognizing he's no longer their friend. Back in the office, they hit a dead end trying to unlock Day's phone and find the landline dead. Just when they think they're safe, Wan reappears. But this time, Hyun's ready, using his skills to take Wan down and make a dash for it with Min. Just when they think they're safe, they're surrounded by zombies, and the scene rewinds to Hyun's struggle shown at the beginning of the movie. But this time, Min jumps in, saving him with a fire extinguisher and scaring off the undead. They make a break for the parking area, only to find all exits sealed tight. Their escape plan hits a snag when Wan crashes the party, ready for another round. Despite Min and Hyun teaming up, Wan's relentless strength proves a challenge. Seeing Hyun in trouble, Min steps in, but even her efforts fall short. When Wan threatens Min, Hyun snaps, cracking his skull open with Min's trusty bat. As the dust settles, they catch their breath, only for the landlady to sink her teeth into Hyun's leg. After they fend her off, Hyun insists Min leave, fearing he'll turn into a zombie soon. But she refuses to abandon him. Emotions run high as Hyun confesses he bought the concert tickets for her, 
longing for one last hug. They embrace, but as they prepare to leave, Hyun notices the landlady's false teeth, feeling a twinge of embarrassment. They exit the building, avoiding eye contact. In the post credit scene, Wan emerges, alive and kicking, hinting that the trouble's far from over as he returns to the city, leaving audiences on the edge of their seats. And that's a wrap.